So one thing that I want to kind of stress on is you see Jimmy barking at me and doing this kind of naughty behavior. Jimmy, down. We can shut it down by putting him in a down. So a lot of people have asked, how do I get a dog to stop barking? There's your answer. You put a dog in a down. A down means he shuts down, he stops, he settles down, and he waits for the next engagement. So now I can say, Jimmy, yeah, good boy, yeah, speak, speak. Oh, good boy, speak, speak, good, speak, good, down, good, speak, good, speak, yeah, speak, yes. And I'm gonna reward him for that, right? So there I'm rewarding him for that. Now, Jimmy was a career change guide dog from Guide Dogs for the Blind, down. And Janet did a lot of work to actually make him be naughty, right? So to get this behavior out of him, because he was a really low drive, kind of a flat dog who was designed to be a guide dog. Speak, speak, speak. I'm getting multiple speaks, right? Speak, 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 speak. good. And that drive, is really something useful. But now it's gonna to be too much because now I'm gonna to try to talk to you and he's gonna keep barking, watch. He keeps talking. How do I get him to be quiet, right? He's gonna bark again, watch. If I keep talking to you, I'm ignoring him. He's thinking, hey, I wanna play with you. How do I shut that up? Simple, I give him a simple command he knows. I'm not gonna tell him to be quiet because he doesn't know that and I don't really want that to be part of it. So instead I'm gonna say, Jimmy, down. The down command shuts off whatever behavior he's doing. Good, but I gotta mark that, right? So I say, good down, Jimmy, good down. Good down. That's a marked behavior, good boy. Turn it back on, Jimmy. Speak, 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 yeah, speak, 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 speak. yeah, good boy. Speak. When you're teaching your dog to speak, one thing you're gonna to wanna to do is mark the behavior when you get it. So the first thing, if you just stare at him, speak, 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 yes. Good. And if your dog is speaking, speaking to you, 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 good, speaking to you, down, you put them in a calm place. What you're really doing in this exercise is you're capping the drive and building the drive. You're capping the drive and building the drive. So you, when you get him to speak, you're building his drive. His drive is coming up, he's being naughty, he's pushing you. And that's really what it takes to train a dog. So when you see the famous trainers on TV telling you to get your dog tired and exercise him and run a bicycle and skateboard with him and do all these things to get him tired so that you can train him, it's kind of BS because that's not the dog you're gonna have when you have a problem. When you have a problem, you're gonna have a dog that's in drive. And when that dog's in drive, you've gotta be able to control that drive. You can't take him out on a bike ride for 10 miles and get him tired and then expect him to listen. You have to get him to listen when he's in that naughty phase. So what I like to do is I like to bring that drive up in the dog myself. I like to make him hot, make him uh, speak, make him bark, make him push me, make him do this and reward that. So he knows I can bring that up. Then I'll bring that drive up, get that behavior going, get his adrenaline going, get his drive up, and then I'll cap it. And now we're gonna get him to speak. Good. Good. Yeah, good boy. And I can tag a word to it. Now, what's that? Cool. Good. Talk. 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 Yes, talk. Yeah, talk. So we just changed the word from speak to talk, and he's still talking, right? Good boy. Yeah. And we'll reward that. Talk. Yeah, good boy. And now we'll wait until he talks when I don't want him to talk, and I'm going to give him a disabling command, which is a down command. He'll do it. Jimmy. Down. Good. And in the down command, he's happy. He knows that's a place he gets reward. And now I can give him a good calm reward. Good down, good boy. That's a good boy. And therein you learned how to get your dog's drives up, how to build drives in the dog, how to get the dog to engage you. Come here, Jimmy, Jimmy, over here. Good, Jimmy down.
and you'll learn how to have fun with your dog and to kind of build those drives, even if you have a dog that doesn't have that much drive, like Jimmy didn't. When Jimmy came from the guide dogs, he had very low drive, and it was a big challenge for Janet to get him into agility because that requires a lot of drive. She did a lot of work with Jimmy. Jimmy's a super fun dog. Janet's been teaching me a little bit about agility. I'm running Jimmy. I'm having a great time with him because it's just a different connection with the dog. It, makes, it lets the dog be a little naughty. I'm kind of used to dogs being very um, strict and regimented and stuff like that because you're sometimes kind of naughty. Kind of naughty. You're kind of, kind of naughty. Come over here. Come over here. Jimmy, here. Down. And he can be very nice because he's a very, very good dog. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, enjoy your dog. Give your dog all the tools he can to survive. Give your dog all the tools he can to thrive, to have a happy life. Train your dog. It's the most important thing you're gonna do with your dog. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and hopefully you'll see a lot more videos here that you like.